Bwow, bwow, bwow. Hobo, hobo, hobo club. Four. Life. Welcome back, folks. From the one, the only, I am Hobo Tom. So you know what, folks? I have my Bullet Club shirt on. That means there has to be someone in Bullet Club involved. So that means it's an AEW all out or all off pay-per-view. So you know what, folks? Hit my... And that is the real music, the one, the only, Hobo Tom. So yes, I'm here to give my all-out predictions. Again, I've been influenced a little bit. I'll put that aside. Let's talk about AEW. You know what? I do have to get to one of these live wrestling shows. Soon, I know the women to take out on dates. So yeah, I still have a lot of videos to make. Quick preview, we're going to have the Labor Day video coming up. I just was busy. I was working through Labor Day. And then we'll have a nonsense video probably Sunday-ish. Yeah, Monday sometime. It all depends on my work schedule. She's actually over there. That is a big old calendar. Of the Daytona Beach Boat and Home Show. Yeah, it's weird that they include the two. One costs thousands of dollars. One's free. Indeed. But no, I'm here to talk about AEW All Out. Um, what match is going to happen first? Brian Danielson's going to get to go home early. It's Brian Danielson versus Jack Perry. I don't know. This Brian Danielson with the belt, I'm not really feeling it. It's not the main event. So you know what? Jack Perry wins. Who knows? I haven't watched AEW in a while. One, because I'm working. Two, I just don't care. Yeah, AEW's kind of... WWE's always going to be up there. I hate to say it. TNA might be the second tier of wrestling. <laughs> NXT... And then AEW. I'll have to discuss that with my boss later. Because he asked me very quickly, one of our discussions at work, when it's quiet, is would WWE ever buy out TNA? My answer is no for two reasons. Anthem is still too big. They're not going to sell it to the WWE anytime soon. And there is that weird stigma with TNA. So those are my two reasons why. But who knows though. We have many of these discussions at work. Mainly because people in the news use ARs and AKs. Yeah. A terrible thing. We have Mercedes Monet then versus Hikaru Shida for the woman's belt. Mercedes Monet does absolutely nothing for me. Take a nap during this match. The Karushita wins. Who cares? Lisa Karushita is a no name, and when she turns sideways, the ring post is not thicker than she is. 
I don't Mercedes Monet just again I saw Sasha Banks at the racetrack and I know she's supposed to be in the heel persona that's just the way she is though which is weird uh, let's see here it's one match of the night Ooh, that might be so in my stone cold lock of the night We have Maxwell Jacob Friedman versus Daniel Garcia. No way MJF loses. He defeats Dan Daniel Garcia. That's just the way it is. For the host champion, I correct myself, TBS champion, Will Nightingale versus Chris Statlander. I'm going to change this up. Because they need some title changes. Chris Statlander wins by some nefarious means. So, yeah. I can see that happening. Both are good wrestlers. I've always enjoyed Chris Statlander's work. Willow Nightingale's grown on me. So, yeah. Chris Statlander wins. We'll see what happens. Um, then we'll have Kuzuchika Okada versus four other people. Four other jabronis. Kuzuchika Okada wins. They've buried him. And I know he's a champion. They, whatever they've done with him. Meh. It's... Meh. Meh. And that's the worst thing you could ever have. Like, listen. I've seen excellent matches. I've seen good matches. I've seen bad matches. And I've seen boring matches. The worst thing you could ever be is a boring match. Because no one cares. If you're a bad match. <laughs> if you're extremely bad it's good <laughs> if you have botch after botch after botch that can be a thing as we've seen on the good old fashioned interweb if you have a boring match though oh that's the death of a crowd Kazushiko Okada is getting very close to that boring range. Then you have, of course, and because I'm old and I figured that out today, because we're having a 90s night and I know who Carmen Electra is. Yeah. We're going to have We have and I think their shirt is in the laundry. The Bucks of Youth! Yes! Brother Nero! I knew you'd show up! Yep, we have the Young Bucks versus um, the Blackpool Combat Club. I think it's Claudio Casanoli and. Uh, Will Yuta. Meh. Young Bucks win. They hold on to the belts. I don't even. The scary thing is. I don't even care. That is the worst thing you could ever do. Or ever say. Is I don't care about you. As a pro wrestler. I hate you. Is great. You're the man. That's great. I don't care about you. That's the worst thing to be. I can, yeah, yeah, you're the man. Or, boo, I hate you. I don't want to see you get your ears ripped off. 
yeah, that's great. When we're like, man, that's the worst. So yeah, the Bucks are at that meh level. But you know what? They'll still win. So is Wheeler Yuta. Meh. And then in the match of the night. So you have in this corner, the champion, Will Osprey. Versus the challenger in this corner, the bastard pack. This is going to be a good match. You have British strong style versus British flying style. I can't see them taking the belts off Will Osprey in this match. If it was anyone higher than pack, yes. But because it's Pac, I can't see him getting the belt. I could, after a couple more balls of these, oh yeah, hell yeah. But yeah, they're not getting that belt off Will Ospreay anytime soon, unless it's someone meaningful. So yeah. Will Ospreay retains his belt. And as far as I know, that's all the all-in stuff. I mean, they might add five matches. They might add ten more matches. Right now, we are at eight matches. I don't even know when it is. I don't know if it's Saturday or Sunday. Today's the seventh. Let me... Let me do some research. Let's see here. Let me go to a new window. And I want to go to my favorite thing. Well, my second favorite one. Google. And I want to Google AEW all out of 2024. And let's see, let's go to the All Elite Wrestling page. Oh my goodness, it is on Saturday. I have off that day. When does this start? All Out starts the countdown till September 7th, live on pay per view, 8 p.m. Eastern. So that means it starts uh, carry the five minus three seven p.m. Ooh, ooh! I might have to watch this and do a live reaction video. Should I have? Mm, should I have my lady friend here? Oh, yes, folks. If you have not seen my current lady friend, I will show her to you. Because we are the cutest couple ever. We got there. That's my stuff. That's dinner. Thunderstorms. Oh, hold. Wait for it. Hold your responses, folks. Of course. Be the fat bastard I am. Indeed. So yeah, I have absolutely no clue what's going to happen. That's just the way I am. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe.